Right now at noon, a family and community heartbroken after two young boys were killed in an early morning house fire in Montgomery County. Now officials are trying to pinpoint how that fire started. Good afternoon, I'm Rahel Solomon. And I'm Jim Donovan. Three other residents, including a child, were able to escape the flames. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lons is live at the scene in Schwanksville where firefighters made this heartbreaking discovery. Good afternoon, Shante. Well, Jim, Jim and Rahel, I can tell you that investigators are still on scene here trying to figure out the exact cause of that fire. It's devastating for the family of those two little boys killed. We've just learned that their names are Brian Jr. or LJ. He was 11 and his younger brother Parker was only six. The flames and the, the wind was blowing and I said you could see it blow through the house. Yeah. It was it was something. I said I've never seen anything like it. Neighbors react after learning that an early morning house fire on Summit Avenue in Schwanksville has claimed the lives of two little boys. Unfortunately, there were two juvenile males that were located on the second floor deceased. The fire started around 5 a.m. State police say a woman, man, and little girl were found outside the home. The father and daughter were airlifted from the scene and the mother was rushed to Lehigh Valley Hospital. All are expected to survive. Eyewitness News has since learned that the man who lives in the house is a Montgomery County Sheriff's deputy. It's really hard. I can't, I can't imagine what they're going through. Uh, it's really awful. And again, fire crews remaining on scene here just trying to figure out the exact cause of this fire. Live in Swingsville, I'm Shante Lands for CBS3 Eyewitness News.